First tonight, the mayor of Providence addressing residents of the capital city in his second state of the city address. Jorge Alorza took the opportunity to outline things that he says need to change for the better in the city and also some American values that he doesn't believe should ever change. Iowa News News reporter Steph Machado is live in Providence tonight with what went on during that address. Steph. Well, it was an optimistic address. Mayor Jorge Alorza urging city residents to come together and support women, immigrants, and refugees, and he predicted improvements to the city's finances. We are the creative capital of the United States of America. Mayor Jorge Alorza celebrating Providence while promising to improve, citing the recent election of President Donald Trump as a reason to come together. While I am deeply concerned about this new administration, I have become newly inspired by our people here in Providence. Alorza focused on four topics, finances, infrastructure, schools, and city services, touting improvements to the city's cash-strapped bank accounts. In five short months, I can confidently state that Providence will, for the first time since 2011, once again have a rainy day fund. He pledged to invest more money in infrastructure after 86% of voters approved a bond in November to do just that, but the city council didn't pass a spending plan in time to use the money. I will be working with my colleagues on the city council to make sure that we fulfill that mandate and pass an infrastructure bond so we can literally start to build the foundation to keep our city strong. He committed money to make repairs to schools, thanked police and firefighters for keeping the city safe, and celebrated successful cultural events like PVD Fest. Alorza said you no longer need to know a guy to get access to city services like pothole filling. My administration has led with ethics and transparency and has made sure that our departments work for you regardless of who you are or who you know. And the mayor is expected to make his budget address in April. He has already said he plans to run for re-election next year. Live in Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.